All right, everybody. Hail and welcome back to another episode of Midgard Musings. My name is Jesse, and I am the host here on this channel. If you are interested in things pertaining to Norse heathenry, Germanic paganism, and quite often what is usually in modern times referred to simply as also true, then I invite you to please subscribe to my channel right down here below. Ding the bell notifications and make sure that your mobile device that you use to follow what I do here has all notifications enabled uh, so that way you do get notified whenever I do upload new content. Don't forget to check the description area down below for the membership details on how you can become a member of Midgard Musings and get special sort of you know behind the scenes or, or early incentive perks and things of that nature as well as all of the other ways that you can support this channel uh, and what I do here for the community. So your support is greatly appreciated. Be sure to check it out. All right, well, today's video is going to just be a rather quick one. Um, and this is probably mainly focused on the heathens out here who watch my stuff that are in the uh, United States specifically, because this is the Memorial Day weekend. We are getting into the Memorial Day holiday, as it were, and um, just wanted to put out a quick video here to um, talk a little bit about what this holiday, first of all, means um, to the public, uh, why it's a holiday, and how, if, if, if in what sort of way it can be um, incorporated into our pagan beliefs, our Norse heathen uh, worldviews. So Memorial Day here in the States is a day to remember and honor the battle slain, the servicemen and women of our armed forces who have given the ultimate sacrifice, who have given their lives in the service of their country. It is not a day to thank veterans who are still alive, although every day and, and, and such like that, for those that do serve uh, in our United States military in whatever branch of the armed forces that they serve. If you are watching and you are a service um, man or woman either currently serving or uh, that have served in the past, you have my thanks and my gratitude. But today is not a day, um, and then the Memorial Day holiday is not a day to um, commemorate those who are alive that have or are serving. It is a day to commemorate and remember those who have died in their service and specifically those who have been slain in battle. Now for those that are familiar with Norse beliefs, the Norse heathen beliefs and some of the mythology behind it, we are uh, we, we, we hear uh, that there is a special attention drawn to those specifics or those specific individuals I should say in the mythology and in the lore, and I am referring to and speaking of the Ein Heriar, those warriors who in the mythology are called upon to fight in Ragnarok. So these are the, the fallen slain, the battle dead, as it were, who have found their ways into the mythical hall of Odin, or perhaps even Freya, uh, because Folkwagner is a place in the lore that is not often talked about, um, but that is the place of the, the first pick of the battle slain, of the fallen dead, as it were, uh, in the mythology. And they go to Folkwagner, and then the rest of them, the, the sort of the, as it were, second best, <laughs> um, the ones that don't get, that, the, the ones that don't get picked by Freya uh, on the battlefield when they are slain or die, um, go to Valhalla, Valhalla. Now, big disclaimer, right? This is just the mythology. This does not have anything to do with the, you know, actual uh, historical views of the dead and, and, and how they, uh, you know, where they went and stuff. This is just a reference that I am bringing up to um, kind of tie things in to today's United States holiday of Memorial Day. So even in the mythology, even in Norse mythology, Right, the the battle slain, the fallen dead, in, in, in on the field of battle had a special place, had a special importance uh, drawn to them even after death. Um, but today is a day of thanks. Uh, the Memorial Day holiday is 
uh, to remember and be thankful for what we have due to the sacrifices that were made by those brave men and women who served this country. They gave the ultimate sacrifice. They laid down their lives so that folks like myself and you and others out here have the luxuries and freedoms that we do today. It is not a day to quabble or quarrel or have any sort of disdain towards political agendas and things of that nature. These brave souls, these brave individuals who were either drafted or volunteered, enlisted, what have you, um, all the way dating back to the, the, uh, the Revolutionary War. These brave men and women who died for their country, who died for the United States Constitution, political affiliations aside, that's not what this is about. This is about commemorating and remembering and honoring the victorious dead. And so wherever you are, whether you observe or honor the fallen slain on this, the United States Commemoration Day, Memorial Day, wherever you are in the world, consider raising your horn in honor of the fallen slain. Drink to their memory. Speak of their braveness and their brave deeds so that their renown and their memory will live on. And so hail, hail the victorious dead. Hail to those servicemen and women who fought bravely, who died bravely on the field of battle for the Constitution, for the people, for we, the people, to enjoy the things that we have here and now and today. Hail the victorious dead. And hail to you all. Hail to you all who are watching. Thank you for your support. I hope you are having a safe, enjoyable, relaxing Memorial Day weekend. And don't forget what today is about. We love the veterans. We love those that have served. We appreciate their service. But today, in this holiday, this day of remembrance, is for those that gave the ultimate sacrifice, that gave of their lives. And to them, we are truly and eternally grateful. And thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you want to support this channel, please consider becoming a subscriber today. And don't forget to ding the bell for notifications. And make sure that your mobile devices have notifications enabled on there as well. Uh, so that way you get notified whenever I do upload new content. Don't forget, check the description area down below for all the ways that you can support Midgard Musings and become a member if you so choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. Hail to you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy Memorial Day to all.